Slack Attack. Boy, well, yeah, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me again. Let's walk through some more Skyrim. Let's take on the Dragonborn DLC. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. The moment of truth is here. We're going to do it right now. We're going to take it on with my one handed build, Maya Maceburn. All right, she's at level 56, and we built her up in on the two survival mode walkthroughs that I did. Check out my playlist for the two survival mode walkthroughs I did, okay? Uh, one where I took on survival mode for the first time, and the second one where I ran through the main quest line, the Skyrim main quest line, in survival mode. And that's how I got my mace burn to level 56. Also, check out the one-handed build overdrive, where I kind of like just did a few touch-up things with my maze burn all right so that's how i built up my maze burn all right we're going to use here to go into the dragonborn dlc one more thing i want to do we're here in white run let's go to the temple of kinnerith the dragonborn dlc takes place entirely on the island of solstein and there are no horses no horses on solstein so we're gonna to have to be walking around everywhere so um it would help if we had a lot of stamina so let's activate this shrine of kinnerith to give us an extra 25 stamina and let's gear up I have reached the armor cap and I have maximum magic resistance maximum frost resistance maximum shock resistance and maximum fire resistance and I have a couple of maces here that are really kick butt the zapper sapper okay you can just read the stats on that and the fiery soul sucker this is my soul trapper and this is for like enemies that can't be soul trapped and or are resistant to fire resistant to fire all right so that's that um make sure you have an ancient nordic pickaxe if you don't have one you can get one off glover mallory by doing a little step and fetch it for him um glover mallory is the blacksmith in raven rock in uh solstein right Make sure you have one of those, and I also have a whopping 50 vegetable soup, and I have a whole bunch of one-handed potions, 33 one-handed potions. Okay, so I can do 150% more damage for 60 seconds with one of those, and with the vegetable soup, I can do perpetual power attacks. Okay, with that, we are going to take on the Dragonborn DLC. This all kicks off by going to Windhelm Stables. I also have... Four shouts maxed out. All three words for four key shouts. One of them is the whirlwind sprint shout, which is going to help you a lot um, on an island where there's no horses and you're running around everywhere. Yeah, I have whirlwind sprint maxed out. So we can travel 100 feet with a whirlwind sprint. I also have the unrelenting force shout maxed out, the fire breath shout maxed out, and the frost breath shout maxed out. All three words for each. Okay, three words, three words. Three words and three words. All right. None of that is essential, but it will help a lot. Let's ride on down to the Windhelm docks. We can just ride to like a point just across the river and just like whirlwind sprint. Basically walk on water. <laughs> across to the boats is just where we'll have to go. Right here. This is waiting there to get our shout to respawn, and uh, yep. there we go. <laughs> and Yellen, this is the guy we want to talk to. Yellen Salt Sage. Yes, I would like to book passage to Solstein. Well, I guess nothing bad happened the last time. Fine, we'll sail as soon as I get paid. Okay, here you go, Chi Ching. <laughs> Money talks, bullshit walks, eh? Yeah. Now, uh, before we bust into the main quest line in Dragonborn, I'm going to take on three side quests, Captain which will Yow, reward us with one of the best I'm homes in Skyrim, in my opinion. This is the Hearthfire Homes um, aside, okay? This is the only home in Skyrim that you can get absolutely free. And it's fully equipped, too. It's got a smelter and everything. It's absolutely insane. Um, so, yeah, that'd be great if you could, like, just set up a headquarters here in Raven Rock, which is like the main city here on the island of Solstheim, okay? This is the island of Solstheim, just starting off here. Yeah, let's do a couple of three side quests to earn us that home in Solstheim. Beautiful home, right? Uh, this starts off by going to a spot right about here. Just look for this island here, just south of Raven Rock, and just go directly across 
to the shore and put yourself a marker there and that's where we're going. We're going to help out a dude called Captain Veleth. And we're going to be screwing off with a bunch of enemies known as Ash Spawn. Uh, now these guys are resistant to fire. Now I know I'm using a fire mace, okay, but this also traps souls. So even though they're resistant to fire, 75% resistant to fire, um, I can trap their souls using this mace, okay? So nobody say, hey Slack, you're using a fire mace on something that's resistant to fire. I know. But I can also trap their souls. And this is still a pretty good mace. It's still doing a lot of damage. Here he is, Captain Villas. Let's help him out. Let's eat some vegetable soup. And away we go. There we go. Got his soul. Down you go. Face <laughs> shook to the noggin. And let's talk to the good captain. What up? Thanks. I wasn't sure I'd make it off this farm alive. I wish I could have said the same for my man here. Uh, what were those things? Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ash Spawn. Ash Spawn, yeah, okay. I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. Okay, and how did that bring you to this farm? I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. Okay. I'd be glad to lend you a hand just because you sound a little bit like Sean Connery. <laughs> Good. I can use all the help I can get. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind. And I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. Very well. Where do I begin? We were searching the farm when the Ashspawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. Alright. Report back to me if you discover anything unusual. All you have to do is search these ash piles that the ash spawn leave behind when they die. And one of them is going to have a note called Declaration of War. There it is. Okay, let's read that up, see what that's all about. There you go, you can pause the video and read that up if you so desire. And let's give it to the captain to see what he thinks of it. Go, captain, my captain! Have you found something? I discovered this I discovered this note on one of the ash spawn. This is strange. Uh, why? The note says it's from General Falk's Carius. But that's impossible. Why is that? Well, Carius was the Imperial Garrison Commander at Fort Frostmouth. But he died over 200 years ago when the Red Mountain leveled the place. There's no way he could still be alive. Okay, and what do you want me to do? If General Carius is still alive, there must be something keeping him that way. Mm -hmm. I need you to head out to Fort Frostmouth. Frostmouth. Check it out. Okay. I'm going to head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assaults. Back to Raven Rock, eh? Okay, you lily livered, lolly gagging, panty laced. And just for the good folks out there, explain to us all what are these so called ash spawn? No one knows, really. No. Okay. Superstitious folks say they're the risen forms of those that died long ago. But I'm not so certain. They started attacking the bulwark a few weeks ago. My men were able to kill them, but they keep coming back. Okay, how often do they attack? We've had two other assaults on the bulwark, at different spots on the wall. I know it sounds crazy, but it's almost like they're becoming more organized and probing it for weaknesses. Uh-huh. And you suspect there's some motivation to their attacks? Exactly. Oh, okay. Something has to be directing them against us. And we need to find out who or what it is. All right. And you could exactly. ask him about Mirak, the tool. General sounds out of his mind. Okay, thank you. You may go now. <laughs> yeah, and you could ask him about Mirak to kick off the main quest line in the Dragonborn uh, DLC. But we're going to save that for later because you can ask anybody that question. Okay, and I want to, like, you know, uh, kick out that quest just yet. So now we have kicked off the quest March of the Dead. Where do we go next, Mr. Map? Mr. Map says that we have to go to Fort Frostmoth, a location just to the east. Let's go there now. And... Yep. Yeehaw. Now, on the way, we're going to run up against these things called Netches. We might as well whack a few, because we can... 
here they are, natchez. We can kind of like um, do a miscellaneous step and fetch it for somebody back in town. I'll explain about that later. These are about the equivalent of mammoths on the regular island, uh, you know, in regular Skyrim. They're kind of that up. So we have to collect four Nets jellies. I'm really getting clobbered here. <laughs> there you go. Yes, search these guys. Nets jelly. Nets jelly. Nets jelly. And this one's running away. Come here, you. I wonder if you can paralyze these guys. Oh, you can. Okay, good. <laughs> Bad Nets cap. Oh, I know where you're, you're running away. His mommy died. Okay, yeah, we get it. Okay, so that's four Nets jelly. That's great. And let's continue to Fort Frostmoth. There it is, right there. We have to enter from the south. Just rife with ash spawn. Kill them all. Okay, everybody line up here for a spanking. I've got the disarming bash, but I've never been able to disarm one of these guys, so I think they're immune. They also seem to be immune to the unrelenting force, so don't try using that on them either. Ouch. Okay, so here's the entrance. That door straight ahead needs a key. This is the door we're going to enter in. I can take care of this is out here. Fort Frostmoth will never fall. Long live the Empire! There we go. Come here, buddy. Take your best shot. Is that all you got? <laughs> Down you go. Where did this ash pile go? Looks like it disappeared. This guy wants to engage in a little ash spawn hand to hand combat. Grab his goodies. Here we go. I knew we missed one. Okay. Now. We'll check the top of the tower. There we go. And we're good. Okay, like I said, that door is locked. We're going to get the key to that momentarily. Let's go in here. Alright, now. Working it, boss. Working it. Dude. What we want to do is work our way down to sub basement two. We're looking for a knapsack, which will have a key in it. There's lots to explore around here, but it's basically just jump loot. A couple of chests to loot here. I don't feel like looking through them just for jump loot. You can if you want though. Okay, so we're just gonna to go to the north down here. This is basement one. Yeah. 
<laughs> the nerd. <laughs> yeah, once again, I know uh, I'm using a fire weapon on these guys, but uh, yeah, and they're 75% resistance to fire. But this will also trap their souls, and I'm still doing a whopping 354 damage, so it's just the 26 points burn damage that is going to be diminished by their fire resistance, so it's no biggie. And this is a spider room, we'll get to this later. Uh, master locked room, um, tell you what, let's put on this here, the black guard strength, gives us a little bit of extra lock picking power. I just had it there. There we go. This is the wine cellar, or the ale cellar. Sometimes this chest, oh, this time it has a lot of good stuff, okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, and I hope it's a Budweiser and Coors Light here in case you're, you know, so inclined. Let's continue. Oops, wait a minute, let me put on my, uh, this is something I always forget to do and then I end up getting killed by the general. Okay, combat gear back on. Back down here. And there's the knapsack we're looking for. It should be another guy. No? Okay. That's it. There we go. There's the frost moth key. Grab that. And this book, which is unusually worth 125 gold. I don't think there's any other book in Skyrim that's worth 125 gold. There we go. Some nice happy thoughts about General Carius. What do you got in the uh, Apothecary Satchel? And... A chest with... Wow! A flawless diamond! I'm glad I didn't forget that. Because otherwise the Mrs. Spotters would have had it. An aneurysm. <laughs> okay, so we got the key. Oh! Grab a couple of these guys here. Now we can open this door right here. But first let's go to the spider room. Lots of good stuff in here. Including hard stones. Ow! Yay! The suicidal albino spider. These guys will give up. Normally. Here. These things. Albino spider pods. We can use those to create uh, spider... Like, we can, like, spawn our own spiders. It's pretty cool. It's just for, like, minor amusement. Spider scrolls. Don't put away your weapon. You're not finished there yet. Maya. Yeah, let's get all these guys. And there's also, hopefully you've got, uh, hopefully I've mentioned this in the beginning, you need an ancient Nordic pickaxe to, to mine a lot of stuff in Dragonborn, including heartstones, these ruby geodes. Yeah, there should be three ruby geodes and two heartstones. There's one, two, three geodes and two heartstones. Let's get them all. Okay, so that should give you six heart stones and three rubies. I think we had a couple of rubies before. Oh, we have one ruby. There we go. Some rubies and some heart stones. 
Heart stones can be used to create uh, staves, special magical staffs, staves, staffs, staves. Take your pick. <laughs> okay, now um, this door is now open. You can open this door. Behind this door is General Carius. He is a force to be reckoned with. So get ready. Okay, and here's what we're gonna do. Like I said, he's a force to be reckoned with. He's got this special weapon called the Champion's Cudgel. So basically I want to isolate him and then paralyze him. I want to suck him into this hallway here and then paralyze him and then take it from there. There he is right there. Got him. There he is. Got him. Got him. <laughs> it looks like my vegetable soup ran out. It did. Okay. I knew there's something wrong. Hang on, you. Gotta have my veggies. There we go. There we go. Alright, the good general has the key and this, which is enchanted with chaos damage. A kick butt enchantment. Yeah, he's a force to be reckoned with, even at level 56. He's actually killed me. One shot at me. In a couple practice runs. Okay, so this. That's it. That's all we came for. Flawless Sapphire. That's pretty good. Grab all that stuff. And... I'm not going to go crazy with the looting. I'm not going to loot absolutely every little thing there. Let's get the basics. And I think we're done. Our work here is done. Return to Captain Vela. Can do. There is a... Uh, I think there's a ladder around here that will take us to the roof. I think this has got right here. Turn around slack. Oh, this will take us back to the courtyard. There we go. Yeah, but there is a, another... Let's go back inside. There's another exit. We'll take, we'll take us up to the roof. I believe there's a chest up there, too. It's this guy here. Here we go. No chest. Okay, I was wrong. That's okay. At least we got outside. Uh, Captain Veldeth is back in Raven Rock in the rear with the gear. Let's go talk to him. Okay, shields down, Scotty. Put on your Sunday best there, Maya. We can go talk to the captain. You know how he is about, you know. There we go. And you put away your shield. If you've got any grass, and your check in at Morbay Manor. Second counselor Arano will sort of There he is. Hey captain. Oh captain, my captain. What news do you bring from Fort Frostmoth? I killed the good General Carius. I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over 200 years? It's a shame. Yeah, there are quite shame. a few tales of General Carius' exploits, including the founding of Raven Rock. Well, he'll no longer be sending Ash Spawn to Raven Rock. Councillor Morvain told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. And if you got rid of General Carius. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. And he ends as a whopping 7,500 bucks. And that's it. That's the March of the Dead done. First the three quests that we have to complete to get um, the Severin Manor. I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way. It's right there. This place here. We can have this all to ourselves and use it as a headquarters while we 
What can I do for you, friend? You know, explore soul's time. Yeah, this will all be ours. This will all be yours someday, my son. Okay? Just keep hanging with the slack. Yeah, stick with the slack. You won't get whacked and you earn yourself a free home. That's it for this this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Coming up next, we're going to do the Raven Rock Mine Quest, which is another required quest in order to earn this Severn Manor as our home. Okay? Thanks a lot for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.